Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 1st, 2019. Get your free trial copy of the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, rated the number one exchange planner by Denarians for Denarians for both pre and post RV planning. The link is in the description below. Simply fill out the form and an email will be sent to you with the download link. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert, and know, we all cross the finish line together. First article of interest. Iraqi Parliament Approves Cabinet Resignation The government of the Middle Eastern country is stepping down amid mass protests that have been rocking the capital of Baghdad and other cities across Iraq since October and which have led to dozens of deaths. Iraqi parliament approved the resignation of the government of Adel Abdul Mahdi on Sunday, according to an official statement. In the meantime, the Speaker of Parliament said he would ask President Barim Saleh to appoint a new prime minister. The shift of power comes after the most influential Shiite cleric in the country, Grand Ayatollah Ali Sistani, warned that the unrest could result in a civil war and urged the government to stop the crackdown against the protesters. He also called for a roadmap to be created soon in order to fight corruption in the country. The issue of tackling corruption has been one of the main demands of the protesters, who have also been calling for Abdul Mahdi's resignation and warned about the deterioration of public services in Iraq. The authorities have even had to suspend the social networks and messengers and introduce a curfew after a crowd set the Iranian embassy on fire and attacked official facilities. According to the Iraqi Health Ministry, the death toll from the mass rallies has reached 400 people, while over 15,000 people have reportedly been injured in the violent clashes with police. Next article of interest, Al Saba is seeking the views of law experts on the resignation of the government. Legal experts revealed the constitutional and legal mechanisms to dismiss the government and choose an alternate prime minister. Experts stress that the constitutional articles do not explicitly provide for the mechanism of resignation of the prime minister, but walked in the customary constitutional constitutional systems that the prime minister resigned to the president of the republic because the legal expert Bashar al-Hattab told, Morning, after the statement of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi on his intention to resign in line with the requirements of reform of political life in Iraq demanded by demonstrators in various popular sectors of society since Antalya here in the beginning of last October, it could explain the constitutional paths for the resignation of Prime Minister under the 2005 Constitution and the implications. He explained. The Constitution did not explicitly address the mechanism of the resignation of the Prime Minister, but it does not go beyond his editorial desire to leave office before the constitutional term for the expiry of his term of office, which entails the resignation of all members of the Cabinet and must form a new government in accordance with Article 76 of the Constitution, he added. Parliamentary constitutional systems usually provide for the Prime Minister to resign to the President of the Republic because it is the task of forming the government, so Prime Minister, Adel Abdul Mahdi, must submit his resignation to the President, Baram Saleh, and not to the House of Representatives, and so what the system indicated the resignation here shall not be conditional upon the approval of the President of the Republic, but shall be effective from the date of its submission. If the House of Representatives intends to dissolve itself in line with the reform of the political system and go to early parliamentary elections, this option will not be settled on its market only after the legislation of the elections and the formation of the High Electoral Commission, which will result in the suspension of the procedures of the Constitution Amendment Committee and resume its work after elections the next House of Representatives for two reasons. The first. The next House will emerge from a popular will more representative of the interests of society based on the new election law that gives half the number of seats to individual candidates. And the second, related to the nature of the judicial composition of the Council the next elections, which the characteristics of independence and impartiality professional in the electoral process management, to ensure the wide participation of voters in public affairs. Constitutional Mechanisms in turn, legal expert Ahmed al-Abadi said, 
there is a constitutional mechanism for the dismissal of the government, is done with the approval of the absolute majority of the parliament, in accordance with Article 81 first, noting that, under this mechanism, it is the President of the Republic, Baram Saleh, Abadi added, the President of the Republic assigns in the maximum period of 15 days another candidate to form a government in accordance with Article 76 of the Constitution, and explained that, one-fifth of the members of Parliament can ask the Presidency of the Parliament to question the Prime Minister and for the reasons provided by them and can dismiss the government by an absolute majority of members of Parliament the government is drawn in the case of the dismissal of its President, the legal expert. As Tariq Harb, explained that, the resignation of Adel Abdul Mahdi does not need to be approved by the House of Representatives or vote which is valid from the date of its declaration, noting that, Harb added, with regard to the federal budget for next year is in the process of preparation and legislation within the government, and therefore can be completed and sent to the House of Representatives for amendment and vote because the relevant legislation is the House of Representatives as well as being linked to the services of citizens and their salaries. Harb pointed out that, the next step is the nomination of the largest parliamentary bloc for the figure who will serve as the next prime minister and is currently according to the election bloc walkers unless a larger bloc of official alliance is submitted to the presidency of parliament to be the largest bloc, adding that, the name of the candidate is assigned from the president of the republic within 15 days from the date of nomination and he has 30 days to submit the names of his cabinet to the House of Representatives to give confidence. Steps and Procedures Legal expert Ali al-Tamimi said in a statement received, morning, a copy of it, the dismissal of the Prime Minister in accordance with the Constitution would be, 1. The President of the Republic may submit the reason motion to Parliament and request the dismissal of the Prime Minister with the approval of an absolute majority of the Parliament. 2. A fifth of the members of the Parliament may request the Presidency of the Parliament to question the Prime Minister and for the reasons presented by them and may be dismissed by an absolute majority. 3. In the event of dismissal in either case, the Ministry shall be deemed to have resigned and shall continue to conduct business for 30 days during which the President of the Republic shall appoint another candidate. For his part, former Chairman of the Integrity Commission Hassan al Yasiri, the constitutional steps resulting from the resignation of the Prime Minister, as follows. 1. The resignation shall take effect from the date of its announcement, and shall not depend on the approval of any party whatsoever on the severity and certainty. 2. The Prime Minister may be satisfied only by announcing the resignation in order to arrange its effects. However, the former shall submit it in writing to the Chamber of Deputies. 3. The government as a whole shall be transformed into the caretaker government once the resignation has been announced, and shall continue to conduct the day-to-day -day affairs and shall enjoy all security and service powers. 4. A new candidate for Prime Minister shall be appointed within a maximum period of 30 days from the date of the announcement of their resignation. 5. The House of Representatives should be in permanent session for the duration of the mandate to appoint the new candidate. 6. The Council of Representatives and the President of the Republic shall continue to exercise their constitutional functions, and no new legislative elections shall be required unless the Council dissolves itself constitutionally. 7. The term of office of the new government resulting from the aforementioned constitutional procedures shall be a continuation of the term of the resigned government, not a new term, and shall expire at the end of the term of the current session of the Parliament. Next Article of Interest Deputy The next Prime Minister must be independent and lived a period of siege. A member of the House of Representatives Abbas Yaber al Atafi, Sunday that all the names that have been circulated through the media during the past hours as alternative names for Abdul Mahdi rejected, stressing the need to be the next Prime Minister and lived independently of the siege. al said in a statement to the information, that all independent deputies announce their categorical refusal to nominate any party political figure for the post of new Prime Minister.
He added that, the candidate of the next prime minister exclusively from independent personalities and that he does not have a nationality other than Iraqi nationality and that he lived through the siege during the rule of the former regime. Alatafi stressed that, independent deputies categorically refuse to hold dialogues in the dark rooms away from the will of the people and their representatives within the House of Representatives. Next article of interest. Parliamentary Legal. The government will be turned into a caretaker for a month. The Parliamentary Legal Committee confirmed on Sunday that the current government will turn into a caretaker government for one month after accepting the resignation of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. A member of the committee MP Hussein al in a statement to comma information, the House of Representatives will exercise the process of voting on the request to resign or not at the request submitted by Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi to Parliament. He added that, the submission of the application to the Parliament is constitutional, noting that, acceptance of the resignation of Parliament will include the resignation of all ministers and the government turns into a caretaker government for one month until the nomination of a new Prime Minister. Explained that the issue of the largest block the block, which claims to be the largest collection of live signatures and submitted to the federal court or is by consensus of all the blocks nominate a new Prime Minister. Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi announced, on Friday, the resignation of the post of Prime Minister in response to the directives of the wise authority and submit a request to resign to the House of Representatives to decide. Next article of interest. This is what Abdul Mahdi intends to do after voting on his resignation. Leaks revealed on Sunday, what Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi intends to do after the council vote on his resignation request. An official in the Secretariat General of the Council of Ministers, Abdul Mahdi intends to publish a letter to the Iraqis containing many details in his government and his problems with political blocs were interfering and hindering the work of his government, and up to the demonstrations, and who is announcing something and hide another. The man wants to clear himself, and also revealed a lot to the Iraqis, and that will be after the vote on his resignation. According to the leaks, that the United Nations mission in Baghdad expressed its readiness to play a supporting role in the consultations of the current stage between the political forces, and to be a guarantor as well. A senior deputy, too, the existence of contacts between the blocs of Fatah and others since Saturday evening on the need to start understanding on the next stage. The situation needs weeks to clear the picture, and whether we will be in front of an integrated road map and an agreement on a transitional phase the end of which will be with the vote on the election law to go to early elections, or we will enter into a constitutional vacuum and suffocating crisis and more interventions, he expected to play the street. In the coming period, the role of the compressor on all while easing the repression of the demonstrations. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as news unfolds from Iraq. Get your free trial copy of the CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, the number one must-have tool, for the currency exchange for both pre- and post-RV planning, the link is in the description box below. Stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power, more articles of interest to come, over and out for now, the Dinarian.